Um, as a past practice, the Prince Albert Police Service has notified the public when police investigations have led to the laying of a criminal charge. Today, the Police Service wishes to report to the public that an independent investigation has been completed by the Saskatchewan Public Complaints Commission concerning the conduct of one of our officers while on duty. The Public Complaints Commission undertook this investigation after we ourselves reported this alleged conduct to the of, of the officer to the Commission in July of this year. Following the completion of the independent investigation, the Ministry of Justice has now advised that it recommended that the subject officer face a charge under the Criminal Code for Assault with her police-issued oleoresin capsicum spray, which is commonly referred to as pepper spray. The independent investigation focused on an incident that occurred on July 8, 2014. This matter involves allegations that the officer used pepper spray on an adult male while he was being detained in the detention area of our police service building. As the use of pepper spray amounts to the use of physical force, the Chief of Police referred this incident to the Public Complaints Commission as a matter of process, ensuring an ind independent review was conducted. <clears throat> Upon completion of their review, the Commission's investigation was forwarded to the Department of Justice for its review and recommendations. The resulting recommendation was that a charge under the Criminal Code would be laid and this matter will now be directed to the courts for adjudication. In order to protect the integrity of the public trial process, we cannot make any further comments on this matter while it is before the courts. The officer was reassigned during the Commission's investigation and today she was formally charged and has received an order that will place her on administrative leave, removed from active service with pay until her rights to due process allows the evidence to be heard in the public forum. This process will balance both the public interest and the fairness for the member until the process takes its course. Part of the balance is to provide a fair process to an officer who stands accountable. The, F the evidence will be presented in a public forum and she is entitled like anyone else before the courts to a presumption of innocence through that process. To maintain a proper balance between public interest and fairness to the officer, again, we are not able to comment on the evidence before it's publicly presented to the courts. Thank you.